time to say goodbye. La ba ba na 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 obviously do not know any of the words to that song except for time to say goodbye and it's time to say goodbye to our house we just have that much left to either put in our cars or in our moving pod we're down to like minutes folks the other two bedrooms are totally empty except for our bed which we're saving for staging and it has been a wild week there are still a lot of unknowns. We are listing our house in just a few days. And the good news is that if all goes well, which I'm praying it does, if our house sells by a particular date, um, August 19th, then the contract that we have on the house that we found that I am absolutely obsessed with, I. I was obsessed with this house and I love it as much as this house. I don't, I mean, I don't want to leave this house. I think our house is so cute and charming. But anyway, this other house, we have a little bit of a tricky contract, still some hurdles. So I'm trying not to get my hopes up because there's still a lot of things that have to happen. So it's just been crazy. My husband packed my scale. I have no idea what box it's in. So I need to just take a break from the weighing in. Um, I think that right now I I don't know what tomorrow is even going to bring. I don't know what two days from now is even going to bring. I know that I'm going to be living at my parents house for a little while while we're in transition. Um, my husband is going to stay here and work and sell our house hopefully and um, it's just going to be crazy. I'm really hoping that since my little sister is like totally into working out and like all this good stuff. Um, and my brother is totally into working out that I can like really get some good physical activity. And I, I would love to take my kids on a hike in the Tetons um, in Wyoming, Idaho, Wyoming border. So we'll see if I can get some good physical activity in. Um, I don't have a scale. I'm totally freaked out. I am going to weigh myself on my parents' scale. But I'm also going to try to take this as an opportunity to just be really true to my tracking, um, really true to listening to those voices in my head deciphering the good ones versus the bad ones, and just doing the best that I can. So tonight was clean out the freezer night or go to the drive through and my husband called me and he's like, hey, do you want anything from blah, blah, blah? And I was like, woof, no, I don't want to eat out every single meal. And so I'm having, this bowl is like as big as my head. This is what I'm gonna have for dinner. And I'm snacking on a meat pie. And I'm gonna have a little container of ice cream. I'm trying to eat mostly just the meat and the vegetables in the meat pie, but I did have a, a wee bit of crust. So anyway, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, but I'm going to take a, a break from the 180 days. When I started that, I did not know that we would be putting our house on the market, buying a new house, moving 25 miles away, me moving in with my parents for until our house sells so we can show. What is this? Did a squirrel die and leave its tail on my head? And yes, this is my nightgown and it pretty much is the only thing that I have been wearing when I make these videos. I do have other clothes. I just don't wear them. <laughs> okay, but this is the best. They're $5 at Walmart and they're just light and comfy. So anyway, I'm going to take a break from those daily check-ins. Um, but when I get settled, it is go time. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my head, my heart. I have felt so unsettled. It's almost like I knew subconsciously that something really big was gonna happen. 
because I have just felt unsettled for a while and I am really looking forward to settling down.